hello guys welcome back to my channel once again today this is cn on now on the screen and you are watching cn great councils and forex trade today i bring to you another wonderful vip strategy that i call golden gold boom and crash vip strategy i'm very very shortly i'm going to place a trade and i'll take live trade with you uh, as my manners has always been and I want to let you know that this is another wonderful, powerful VIP strategy. Very simple. And uh, just as you know, my strategies have always been simple but powerful. All you need to do is to stick to the instructions. And um, yes, the condition just met now. Let's place a trade uh, before we continue. All right. Um, we are taking two trades. Okay. And. Um, if you are new on this channel, please, I'd like you to hit that subscribe button and turn on the uh, notification so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be the first to watch it. Remember, it doesn't take you anything extra to subscribe to a channel like this. And um, I want to quickly apologize for some time now. I've been uploading content bordering on how you can trade different patterns, of course. Like I said in my previous video, I like you to be a versatile trader who can conveniently look at the chart and then play straight and make your money, okay? So, um, like this video if you find any value in it in the course of watching this video and uh, also share this video with other traders so that we can reach larger number of traders, okay? All we want to do is to make money. You must make the money and you're gonna milk it and i want to hear your testimonies um, in the comment section below you're gonna try this strategy on your demo account first and foremost before you go live and i want to let you know if you stick to the instruction this strategy works on any structure of the market be it ranging be it downtrend or uptrend it works perfectly well okay so without further ado let me give you the setting to this wonderful strategy before we come back to the chart and I will give you the conditions for you to trade profitably with this VIP strategy. Don't forget once again, the name of the strategy is Golden Gold Boomer Crash VIP Strategy. So let's go straight to the F icon and we have only two indicators and that's on the main chart. The chart must be plain. Okay. So uh, of course, you know, I don't trade without having fractals on my chart. I hardly trade without having fractals. So the fractal is just the setting, okay? And then you click done. Then um, uh, the moving average we have on the chart, these are the parameters, okay? Uh, the period is 9, shift is 0, method is linear weight. Uh, you apply to uh, close. The styles is... Um, Four pieces. I chose four pieces for visibility. Okay, and um, the color is red. You can actually use any color of your choice. You can make use of any color of your choice. Okay, so we are back to the chart now. So how do you trade with this strategy? Okay, now if you look very well, you will discover that um, there are calibrations on this chart. That is price calibrations and if you count from the top, the black uh, the figures you can see, if you count from the top to the down, you discover that there are 14, okay? 14 calibration, price calibration. This one, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There are 14 good calibrations that is price calibrations those figures are prices okay so um first and foremost your chart must be a naked a clean chart like this okay and then if you look at the moving average the red moving average you discover that the moving average makes w okay for crash it makes w's and m's as well and for boom it makes m's and w but on crash we are looking at the w formation by the moving average okay now please before we continue let me put um, a vertical line where we place our trade because very shortly we're gonna uh, close the trades because we are taking 
10 candlesticks we're taking 10 candlesticks okay so um like i was saying the moving average makes w's on crash so we are looking at the w's that is made by the moving average now let me quickly show you the w okay now if you look you discover that this is a w shape made by uh, this moving average okay and yo okay and this I hope you can see this is a w shape so uh we are trading the second leg of the w okay now this is the first leg this is the first leg okay let me just show you the first leg okay this is the first leg now this is the first leg the first leg is the spike okay all right then the first leg is this and this is where it goes up all right and then comes down this uh, the spike this little spike the two little spike is where it comes down to make a form of inverted v okay inverted v before the second leg of the w this is the second leg of the w okay the second leg of the w so we are trading basically the second leg of the w on crash market now let me clear the chart so that we'll continue all right so um i'm gonna clear the chart and leave only the vertical line so that we know when uh, 10 candlestick is completed okay so if you look at the moving average the red moving average you discover that the w shape is very very obvious so the first thing you want to look at is for the first leg of the w to be formed and then you wait for a spike it's gonna spike if it doesn't spike to form or to give you the shape of the second leg of the w please don't execute your trade okay now you want to look at the first leg of the w to be formed and then you watch out for spike that will give you an inverted shape of a v that is an inverted v okay an inverted v and after that you watch out for the moving average that is forming the second leg of the w to interact with the market okay with a candlestick opening and closing above it okay look at the candlestick that opened and closed above it and as soon as the candlestick opens and closes above it and a new candlestick forms above the moving average okay that is your first confirmation if that happens you look at the price calibration now if at that point that the uh, market or the candlestick opens and closes and a new one opens above the moving average the price is still below anything from the seventh down okay now let's count one this is the first calibration second calibration third fourth fifth sixth seventh if the market is still below seven if you count from down up if the market is still below the seventh price calibration then place your trade immediately and take 10 candlesticks okay 10 candlesticks now you can see that our trade is still running let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine okay is many just one candlestick to go okay now let me take a quick recap i did say that there are 14 price calibration from the top to the down okay there are 14 price calibrations okay now at the close of this candlestick that is introduced now we'll close the trade okay let me just um all right yes let's close the trade right away you can see we are in profit already let's close it right away so that i will continue 
Um, but let me place another vertical line so that you know that our 10 candles is complete, okay? All right, yes. Sorry about that, it's exactly here, okay? So let's close the remaining trade so that I'll give you um, the quick recap I was giving you, okay? Now, let's count and see how many candles we've taken. This was our entry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Isn't this wonderful, guys? Isn't this wonderful? So let's continue. This video is not going to be that long because it's a very simple and straightforward strategy that you will use to double your account like in few hours, irrespective of your account size. So this is a very powerful strategy and um, you can use it to make them. I want to hear your testimony. I want you to uh, go test it and then come back and leave your comment in the comment section how wonderfully well you have used this strategy to do so a quick recap uh, of the conditions for you to trade like i said earlier there are 14 price calibrations on this chart just as you can see let's count it again this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five this is six this is seven this is eight this is nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay fourteen price calibration even if you go to m5 the same 14 you go to h1 the same 14 okay 14 price calibration if you count it down now remember i said that it doesn't matter whether this market is in an uptrend or in a downtrend this strategy works perfectly well irrespective of the trend okay all you need to do is to stick to the conditions that i am giving you so I did say that we are trading basically the second leg of the W and that the moving average we put on this chart makes W's and M's, okay? It makes W's and M's. Now, and I showed you the W shape that this is making, okay? Now, look at it. Look at it. It's the first leg of the W. Now, um... And it makes this move to form an inverted V, okay? And it comes down. This is the inverted V. This is the inverted V, okay? Now, for boom market, it is a V. But for crash, it's inverted. Now, before it makes the second leg of the W, okay? But this is actually obvious without these arrows that I put, okay? The moving average shows obvious shape of the W, if you look at it very well, okay? It shows obvious shape of the W, okay? Now, let me clear the chart so that you will understand very well. Remember um, that our trade was actually executed somewhere here. It's only the vertical line that I will not remove. Yes, it was executed somewhere here. Now, I did say that you are looking at for a w formation you are trading the second leg of the w now this was the second leg this was the second leg that we traded okay so you are looking out for market to spike and to form this first leg uh, that i showed you earlier and then makes an inverted v now as soon as it makes an inverted v and the moving average the market is trading and the moving average makes a curve and interacts with the price that is the candlesticks okay as soon as that interaction is made this was the point that it interacted with the market with the price okay look at it here okay now that candlestick that interacted with the moving average must close and then a new candlestick this particular one okay opens above the moving average at that point that it opens above the moving average, you now look at the price calibration. If the market is still below the seven calibrations counting from down, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If the market is anywhere below the seventh calibration, okay, from here to here then you execute your trade and take your 
10 candlesticks and you exit the market. And that's what we just did, okay? So, let's, we are going to go ahead and backtest right now to see if it has ever failed, okay? Okay, now look at this place. Look at this place. This was a W shape. Okay, remember I said we are trading the second leg of the W. Now look at it very well. This was spike. Okay, remember we are looking at the moving average. Okay, now and then it happened that it went up. Remember, I said, if it doesn't spike to give you an inverted shape of V, do not execute the trade, okay? It went up and spiked and came down, giving us an inverted shape of the W, okay? Inverted V. Now, look at the moving average. That is what you are looking at, okay? And then, it started trending, okay? Now, the market then made an interaction with the moving average look at it here let me show you look at the point at the market made uh, interaction please i beg your pardon it's a bit uh, okay the market made an interaction with the moving average this was the candlestick that interacted with the moving average and then it closed so as soon as this candlestick closed above the moving average and another one introduced this is the one i'm talking about now you look at the corresponding price calibration you discover that it's the first calibration okay and then we still have the second third fourth fifth sixth seventh so i did say that in as much as the market is below any price calibration from the seventh one down this is for crash then you execute your trade and take your 10 candle stick okay that's just it okay that's perfect that's perfect all right let's keep back testing and let's see if it has ever failed now look at this place remember that the w shape must be obvious okay like, just like this one now it's very obvious Look at it. It's very obvious. And then you would have taken your 10 candlesticks and then you're out of the market. Look at it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and still counting. Okay. It's obvious. Very, very obvious. Very, very obvious. So, okay. Remember I said the W shape must be obvious. Now look at this place. I actually took this trade. You can actually take the first leg or the when the market is making a move to form the V, okay, the inverted V of the W, but that may not be safe. Maybe in my next video, I'm going to do series of videos on this because this is a versatile strategy. It's a, a strategy that is well packaged and then uh, you can actually... Uh, is an open-ended. I always say that my strategies are open-ended because of the way it's manipulated. So you can actually discover more strategies from this strategy. But in the meantime, we are trading the second leg of the W. And least I forget, this is the zoom level we are using. This is the zoom level we are using. And um, you zoom out completely like this. You zoom in twice. This is one twice okay you zoom in twice and your chart position must be at this place that you have the dollar icon that's gonna be your chart position okay so that's the back testing on crash market so let's quickly go to boom market and let me show you uh, because the opposite of what i just said is the case for boom market okay i took this trade as well now for boom market it's still the same principle but we are looking at the m shape that is made by the moving average now it's very obvious here as you can see look at m that is made okay look at it now this is um yeah this is the first leg 
of the M and then it spiked it spiked okay and it started coming down making the second leg of the M so we are trading the second leg of the M okay made on boom market now like I said the principle is still the same thing now whenever it spikes like this this first one it spikes like this it could be double spike it could be single spike and then it's coming down you don't trade this leg you don't trade this leg okay you don't trade this leg and this leg you must wait for it to spike giving us a v shape okay if you look very well you discover that this moving average has just given us a v shape from here okay okay look at it this is a v shape this is a v shape okay this is a v shape remember that for crash it gave us an inverted v shape okay so you are trading the second leg which is this this direction so what do you look out for when it has given us an obvious m shape like this and a, with a v shape and the market is descending for boom now you wait for the moving average to interact with the candlestick look at the candlestick that interacted with the moving average look at it here okay as soon as that interaction is made you wait for the candlestick to close and then another one to open below the moving average as soon as it opens below the moving average you look at the price around here when you count one two three four five six seven you discover that the market is above anything from seven okay now the market must be above at least the seven one to seven one to seven counting from up down the market must be above at least one to seven calibration the seventh calibration if that is the situation you place your trade and take your 10 candle sticks please a quick recap once again you must look for an obvious m shape just as you have seen and then you wait for the market to interact or the candlestick to interact with the moving average and that candlestick that interacts with the moving average must close and a new one open that new one that is opened as soon as it opened you look at the price calibration counting from one to seven if the market current position is still within between the one and seventh price calibration execute your trade and take your candle 10 good candle sticks this works for boom 500 crash 500 boom 1000 crash 1000 the difference is that on crash 500 you are taking between five to seven candlesticks and on boom 500 you are taking between five to seven candlesticks but on boom 1000 crash 1000 you are taking a maximum of 10 candlesticks okay you're taking a maximum of 10 candlesticks and don't forget my principle uh, once again on how to handle spikes if the conditions for you to place trade and trade with my strategies are perfectly made and you are caught by a spike i've given you the conditions how you are going to handle it and i'm going to leave the link to the video where i did a complete explanation on that in the description box below so that you can watch it and see how i handle spikes and that's all for today's video guys let's back test a bit let me show you um, look at this place okay it actually happened here and then it gave us a v-shape and the market interacted and then it spiked a little but then it still went down this is in agreement with my principle on how to handle spikes okay and you can watch that video to uh, know exactly how i do it okay now let's keep back testing look at this place this was an obvious m shape look at it yeah okay the market interacted here you count one two three four five six seven the market is still above or between the one and seventh calibration you take your trade 
and then you take your 10 candlesticks even before this little little spikes okay the same thing here look at the m shape is everywhere okay it's everywhere okay look at it this is powerful guys this is look at even this okay this is a valid one a valid one a valid one a valid one so guys look at this it's also valid look at it remember i say you don't trade this leg you trade the second leg if you are taking this you would have been caught by this spike but we are trading the second leg look at it it went down as it's descending so please this is a powerful strategy i'd like you to make huge profit with this strategy and you can trade with it on any time frame but i'm gonna make a further videos on how you can use it to trade on higher time frame but all the same I want to say a big thank you for watching this video to this very end and if you have watched this very end you are true fan in that if you have not subscribed i like you to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be the first to watch it meanwhile this is cn green castles signing out for today